Okay, now we're going to install this plugin. To install it, you're going to click on Plugins, Add New, type in WP Touch with no space, and then do a search. Uh, it comes up, you can see it's almost four stars. Go ahead and hit Install Now. Okay. Then click Activate Plugin. Okay, so you can see that WP Touch is installed. You can go to Settings from here, or you can go to Settings underneath the Settings menu, and then there's a whole tab there now called WP Touch. Now, setting this up is pretty easy. It's pretty much automatically set up by default. Um, you can tell it to uh, display your blog in a different language if you like. Um, there's some home page, home page redirection, so if you wanted to create a special home page just for mobile users to see when they first go to your site, you could create one, uh, not necessarily make it visible for regular readers, but then redirect the home page to that um, to that scaled down page or whatever, just for mobile users. That's a pretty cool feature. I like that. Um, you can specify a different site title if you want. You can exclude some categories and tags from showing up, which is nice if you have some that are a little too bloated for sell, or you know maybe feature something that's not going to look good on sell no matter what you do. Um, you can change justification to left or full depending on what you like. You know, there's a couple different options here for your for your icons. Do you want to show just calendar icons or post thumbnails? I didn't really get this to work, uh, in I couldn't get this to work uh, when I used it. Um, maybe they'll fix it by the time that you download this. Uh, but this is one of the things that I saw was a little bit buggy. You can put a little footer message here, which I like. Now in the advanced options, there's you know a couple good ones. They're all pretty self-explanatory. You want people to be able to uh, have comments on posts, yes or no. So you can disable comments just for mobile users as opposed to regular users as well. If you don't like the experience that a mobile user is going to have by having that comments feature there posted. Um, so you can look through those. Those are all really good. By default, I think that you know these settings are all pretty good as is. Um, push notifications. This is, I don't know, in my opinion, kind of a little silly. I guess it's a, a you know, an, an extra feature where they're going above and beyond. Um, you can sign up for an account with Prowl so that when somebody no comments you or tries to send you a direct message through this thing, that it'll ping you on your iPhone. I think it's unnecessary, but you know, kind of cool that they're putting some thought into it. You can style your uh, mobile site very slightly with a couple different background images. You can pick a different font if you like. You can change the colors of the header and whatnot. It's very, very limited, the style options that you have here in the free version. One thing that I do like a lot is that you can put in Google AdSense. If you do AdSense and you want to monetize your site by putting ads in here, you can sign up for an account with Google AdSense. And then you just have to click AdSense and put in your um, AdSense codes here. It's super easy. A lot of people don't uh, really realize you can do that. And so they may mo mobile optimize their site and in doing so, they'll have a mobile optimized site with no AdSense and then a regular site with AdSense, so they're losing their monetization for all the normal users. Um, you can put a static uh, a stat code in here, like Google Analytics and whatnot. Very cool. That way it tracks even if people are coming to your site through mobile. And you should understand that this is basically taking the place of your theme for those, for those people. So if you've put your analytics code into your main theme, uh, it may not be tracking here when they get diverted to your mobile theme. Okay, so your icons here exist. Basically, I see icons for everything except for Facebook somehow. Uh, I don't really know what that's about, but all right. Um, you can allegedly change your logo here to a couple different things. I couldn't get this to work either, so I don't know what's up with that. You do have uh, the availability to put an RSS menu in there, which is cool. And then all you have to do is click Save Options. So I don't think we actually changed anything. Um, yeah, so I don't think we actually changed anything, but just go ahead and click save and it is good to go. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.